ladies, I want to talk about pop. If you're a pop drinker or if you're a sweet tea drinker, those are two things that I want to be able to focus on with y'all that you could start today. And it's super simple and just some alternatives. And now what I want you to do is prior to doing this, is to be able to sit down and just do some praying and declarations, which is completely biblical, which is completely scripture. And at the end, I will help you and assist you in that and just ushering you to the Lord. But I want to... Philippians 4.19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in the glory in Christ Jesus. James 1.17 Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Luke 6.38 Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken, running over, will be put into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. John 3, 1 to 2. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 9, 8. And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. Glory to God. But I want to be able to explain that pop has so many additives. There's aspartame, there's colors. There's so many things that are inherently not good for us. And anything diet, I know this sounds crazy, though there might be no calories, it does pack weight on because of the aspartame, the fake sweeteners. Anything that goes through a process, it's not good for our body. It's not good for our body. It can cause inflammation. It can cause headaches, uh, forgetfulness. And they're very aware of what they're putting in their pot. It becomes addictive to us. It's something that we have to have every day. And if there's something that we have to have every day, like if you are out and you can't get it and it's going to make you hangry, then probably there's something in it that is addictive that we want to try to be able to bleed out of our system. And so the few things I wanted to be able to share is, yes, there's so many options of sparkling water that has flavors, but I really, really want to take you to bare bones because even the ones that have flavored that are deemed good are not good. And even whenever I share with you to be able to use the apps to be able to go back and try, go back the all natural, the sparkling waters that have flavor, scan it, and then really see what's in it. You will get pretty surprised. But I just wanna be able to share a simple recipe that you could be able to use, just simple Pellegrino water to be able to try. And again, you can get big bottles or you can get small bottles, or you can use Mountain Valley Spring sparkling water as well. Same thing, big glass bottles, turn it on pretty tight just so it keeps everything in there and you get that nice little sparkling fizziness because that's the best part. So what you can do is do that and again, it's not gonna taste great, but you could take monk fruit sweetener you could put monk fruit, a little packet in there. It's just getting you off of the additives and it's adding in the sweetness. And then you could add in essential oil. If you guys have doTERRA essential oils, you can put in peppermint, you can put in grapefruit. If you don't, you could get your own strawberries. So you could literally just put the monk fruit or whatever you choose uh, in there. That something that doesn't spike your glycemic index. So. 
everyone has been using uh, stevia or stevia and there's been studies shown that now it's not good for you but I'm have always been a pretty solid monk fruit user so get the packets or you can get a big nice jar of it and then just sprinkle some in there to you get the sweetness right and then once you put that in the bottle, then you could put strawberries. You could put, just cut strawberries in there. Strawberries, my favorite is cucumber, uh, peppermint, and lemon. I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that, and sparkling water. And again, that bottle's gonna last you two or three days. After three days, it's gonna go flat, and that's whenever you know it's pretty much natural. Anything in there that's gonna last, what is in there that it's lasting so long? That's my question for you. Or you could put grapes, truly, just cut grapes, put it in there. Whatever you like, pineapple, mm, pineapple's good to be able to put in there too. But whatever taste that you normally liked in your other flavored water that was chemically enhanced is a nice word to be able to use. You could put that into your Pellegrino or your Mountain Spring water. So again, you can get the small bottles so you could carry them or you could do the big bottles, do a packet of monk fruits or whatever you desire that doesn't spike your glycemic index. And just to be able to plunk that in there, whatever type of essential oil or whatever type of fruit, berries, cucumbers, yum yum, peppermint, spearmint, leaves that you want to put in there and you could have that and then you could just take for me i use mason jars i just like it they're glass it's if i'm carrying something in plastic plastic leaches chemicals we don't want that we want to try to be as natural as possible what we do they're selling us so much of chemical based products and we don't need it we could just go back to the basics so I cannot wait to be able to hear on our private group what type of mixtures y'all are making. And I make it fancy. Like whenever I'm switching over, and again, when you're switching over, you're probably gonna put a couple more packets than you should of monk fruit in. That's okay, that's okay. Because what you had, it's so chemically processed with their sweeteners, it makes it so sweet. So it's okay, the point is once you get used to it and then just make it a little lighter to where you don't need any sweetener at all and then you're just having fruits or berries. But give yourself some grace and some time with that. But I have fancy, um, I don't drink, but what are those called? Wine glasses and I'll make it fun. I'll make it fun so I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Everything that we do, be so intentional. You are so special and you have such a purpose. You have such a purpose. So before, whenever we're going before the Lord with everything, y'all, everything we go before the Lord, I always, Lord, guide me. Holy Spirit, anything that I'm doing to grieve your temple, which is us, I'm sorry, forgive me. Show me what you want me to do. Your servant's listening. What can I do? And then I just declare, Father, I declare that everything that you have for me is yes and amen. And it's a good future. Not to harm me, but to prosper. And I thank you for the correction. And I will listen and follow through. Just talk to him. Invoke his name with everything that you do. Invite him in. He is here now. If you're an authentic believer, he, the Bible says, has moved in and lives inside of you. Invite him into every struggle before you're going to devour something. Holy Spirit, help. I do that all the time with everything. Help! I need him all the time. Don't forget him. Invite him in, in the mess, because he's a master of making beautiful things out of our messes.